guys, today's video is a sketchbook customization uh, using my fine tech paints and a black covered sketchbook and I found this sketchbook in a pile of um, unused media that I went through. I've been going through my room and um, sort of getting rid of old stuff and I found it in a pile of like to do things. <laughs> So I, um, oh, you might hear the birds because they're in the same room as me. But I've been wanting to try my fine text on a darker background for a while. And I, I thought, well, this, this is perfect for it. And I'm looking at it now and the fine texts are just next level. I, I absolutely adore them. Um, and so I looked at what colors I had and I decided to draw lapis because lapis is, Lapis is really interesting to draw, I really like drawing her and her colours are just some of my favourite colours so I I thought yeah I could I could do this and one thing I really like is that um, when people draw Lapis with golden freckles or they mention golden freckles because if you look at Lapis Lazuli, the actual stone, um, sometimes it has gold in it. I don't know if it's like real gold but there's like gold colouring in it, it's, it's a really beautiful stone and yeah so I I always like the idea that Lapis would have freckles of some sort. I, I like that idea. Um, so that's, I was like, gold, gold freckles. <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, because obviously the fine text, the, the first fine text I had were just the gold pearl colors. And then I treated myself to a set of six and an extended to 12 palette. And I, this video is a lot slower actually, you might notice that the speed's not as fast and I think it's only set to 150%. I wanted something a bit slower for you guys and also this didn't take me that long. So um, I was like, well, I have like, if I speed it up to my normal amount, I have like two and a half minutes. <laughs> and I thought that, you know, I've already spoken for two and a half minutes. So obviously I waffle on just a little bit too much for two and a half minutes. <laughs> Um, so I just sketched straight in pencil. I should have probably done a thumbnail, but it didn't turn out too bad. Um, I just remembered what she looked like and yeah, so I sketched straight on there with my Kurotoga 0.5. It needs to be an easily erasable pencil, or so I thought, but I, I've left the pencil marks on and I quite like the fact that it's got the sketch underneath. Um, but otherwise I would have left it just, um, made sure it's a very erasable pencil. Nothing like my black wings, which, you know, are meant to mark. Um, but this is easily erasable. Thank you, Bumble. <laughs> and yeah, so I, I really wanted to do something sort of serene and Lapis is perfect for that. Um, even though her personality is not that serene, <laughs> she, she can get away with the look of it. So I had to keep wetting my fine text because they do need to be quite soaked beforehand. So when you see me go off camera, that's what that is. <laughs> um, just keeping them soaked and wet um, because they dry out and when they're dry, they're, they're pretty much like rock solid. You, there's nothing that comes off them. There's no residue and you, um, yeah, you really got to let the water soak in first, which is what you saw me doing at the beginning. And I have a little spray bottle by Derwent, which keeps my watercolors wet as well, which is super useful. And um, yeah, so I, I have to like keep mixing them and keeping them wet so that they've got the right consistency. It can be hard to get that initial consistency. And I was practicing larger areas because I've only done sort of like accents with these but I thought you know what, I'm gonna try a larger area and that was her hair and dress but I did I just outlined her skin so I could get I could get the the uh, the pose that I wanted and that the expression that I wanted without having to go in with black ink um, so that's why I didn't color her skin in like like a block color but I, I really I really love using these fine texts and Oh my gosh, if you ever get the chance to purchase them, um, I know that they are really pricey, but if you get the chance, just do it because I've used gold gouache, I've used gold ink, I've used gold writing pens, I've used everything and nothing compares to these. 
absolutely nothing, in my opinion anyway. Like, when I was watching back my other video, the um, artwork that I'd finished during the year, when I looked at um, using gold gouache, which I used to think was really nice and vibrant, compared to these, it doesn't, it doesn't shine at all. And I'm just, I'm, yeah, like, look at me, jelly spokesperson for fine tech. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ridiculous. I love these so so much. Um, so if you do get a chance to get them, they're not easily available in the UK. I had to order mine from Germany, and the gold ones are actually a present from my friend Andreas, who's very kind, and he got me them for my birthday. And then I know I know a few of you are waiting for me to talk about my robbery, um, but the, the first palette was initially stolen, and he replaced them. And I want to pay him back for them because it's not fair that he's had to replace them. But I, I'm just so grateful that he he bailed me out that quick. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> they're, they're just stunning. Um, so put them on your wish list <laughs> if you can get a hold of them. That is, I think uh, there's a few companies in the US that do stock them. I found one company in London that do, but um, when I went recently they were out of stock of the one that I wanted, so I didn't bother going back. I just went straight to colorow.de, I think, and that's, I think they're the company that like owns them, I'm not sure. They have like everything you could want, like spare, spare um, pots of it, spare palettes, oh it's so cool. <laughs> So yeah, you can see I've started blocking in with a uh, lapis there and to actually get it to spread like that, you could just see it there. I put down water first and you've got to be careful with these sketchbooks because they don't take water very well. So you've got to really balance the amount of water that you're applying if you're using something like a water-based medium. And yeah, so I put a bit of water down and then got the very wet but still quite um, dense a dense amount on my brush of the fine tech gouache and it it just um, melted melted into the water and spread nicely it's hard to explain but um, that's how I got the coverage on them because they can be quite dry they dry out so quickly <laughs> um, but yeah it's just a balancing act like with any sort of new medium you've got to learn how to use it and even though it's, it's not technically a new medium it's it it's a bizarre thing because it's in pans, but it's a gouache and it's also considered a watercolour and it's just, I don't know what they put in it. I swear it's like unicorn hairs and like probably like crushed unicorn hooves or something daft like <laughs> joking. Um, it's, it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Can't stop talking about it. I'm just like, have you seen my paints? Like knocking on people's doors. Hello, have you heard about these paints? <laughs> I'm I'm ridiculous, but there's me adding the freckles. <laughs> oh, I love I love lapis with freckles. It's such a cute idea because it kind of matches the stone, like I said. So, um, if you're interested in buying this sketchbook, it's actually for sale in my online store along with my signed prints and my um, other originals. Um, so yeah, there's there's that, and I. I think I might be at Liverpool Comic Con, but I'm not going to make an announcement yet, but I think I might be. We will see. <laughs> um, I should also hear back about VanCaf soon, so I might be at Vancouver Comics and Arts Festival, which would be amazing. <laughs> um, but let me think, is there anything else I need to talk about? Um, I'm, I've got a few plans for my next few videos. I went to do some fan art for a favourite YouTuber and I've asked her permission and she said that that's fine. So that should be my next video actually. Um, I'm also going to do a planner walkthrough on my ASMR channel. So if you are interested in anything like that, uh, check out the link in the description. I've got a link to my ASMR channel. And I should be uploading my vlogs more regularly now. Um, and they are on my vlog channel so if you check out the description it should have the links to all of my channels and I'll put a pinned comment at the top as well and I think that's pretty much it <laughs> um, yes yeah, so I best go edit this all together now and upload it for you guys so thank you so much for watching 
Um, give me a like if you like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.